A fast website can help you get more traffic and more sales. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to improve your website speed from this to this. First, I'm gonna show you two tools that I use that are great at telling you whether your website is fast or not and where you need to improve it. The first is called Google PageSpeed Insights, so you can just type that into Google or you can go to pagespeed.web.dev, type in your URL and click Analyze and you'll get a report that looks like this that measures your website on a number of metrics, both the mobile version and the desktop version. You can see that right now for grekononenko.com, the performance for both the mobile and and the desktop versions is quite bad and we're going to be working throughout this video to fix this. The second tool is gtmetrics.com and it's really good at telling you a few more things that the Google tool does not actually tell you about. So we're going to be using GT Metrics as well. And in particular, the metrics that I like on GT Metrics is this one called TTFB. So this stands for time to first byte. And this actually tells you how quickly your website starts giving the information to the visitor's browser. So the lower this metric is, the faster your website is going to be. And you can see that right now, my website, grekononenko.com, takes almost a full second from the moment when the person types it into browser until it actually starts giving any information. That's not good enough and we need to fix it. The first and the main thing that you have to do in order to fix the speed of your website is to get a fast hosting service. Let's take a look at this. So right now we're looking at the metrics for GT metrics for grekononenko.com. You can see that time to first byte is 844 milliseconds. Let's compare this time 844 with the performance of caffeinatedblogger.com and you will see that this is running at time to first byte at 241 milliseconds. Okay, so 241 versus 844. The difference is huge. It makes a big difference on the performance of your website. And the reason why caffeinatedblogger.com is actually so much faster is because I use a different hosting service for Caffeinated Blogger. This fast hosting provider that I use and I highly recommend is called Cloudways. Here are the prices of Cloudways and you can see that they start at just $11 per month and $11 per month is virtually the same price as many of the lower tier hosting providers. However, the difference here is that Cloudways is a cloud hosting provider. So your website will be the only website on the whole cloud server, which makes it much faster than shared hosting. You can see here the picture for shared hosting, which is what you typically get if you buy a service such as SiteGround. I'll put some information here in the corner about the current discount that you can get if you uh, purchase Cloudways service through my link. I think it's about 20 or 25% discount that I currently have got from Cloudways. So if you sign up, they have a three day free trial and you can also get about a 20 or 25% discount. I'll just put all the information here on the screen about that. So by simply changing your hosting service, you can change this critical metric called TTFB time to first byte from 844 milliseconds in my case to about 241 milliseconds in my case. And this slower website, grekononenko.com, right now is hosted on SiteGround. I've used SiteGround a lot before. I'm slowly moving away from them because if you take a look at SiteGround, their prices are not really that much cheaper. You get about $4.99 or $7.99 for a comparable plan. However, they do lock you in with this pricing. What you will see, for example, if you go for this $4.99 plan, after the special annual price expires for the first 12 months or so, you'll be reverted to the current standard prices and current standard prices that are posted here are about 34 uh, per month or 49 per month. Whereas with Cloudways, you get a transparent price and it's if you go for this 11 USD per month, you get your cloud hosting plus it's locked in at 11 US per month. One of the really useful things that Cloudways provides for you to speed up your website is their own plugin called Breeze. You can generally find it already pre-installed on your website. And if you go into plugins and then install plugins, you should be able to find Breeze and then click settings. And this is where you can control the way that Breeze helps you optimize your website. Here you can go through the various options. For example, under basic options, you've got various ways to uh, let the cache speed up the website for you. So here you can turn on the basic caching system. You can then enable the 
special case for mobile devices. And subsequently, you can go through all the other versions. Right now, I've got my website configured like this. However, you can optimize it and you can try to find the best solution and the best settings that work for you. Here we've got all the various options around file optimization. So you can minify HTML, you can minify CSS. You've got control of all of these settings from right inside your Brace plugin and that will really help you speed up your website. We've also got some options around preloading. We've got some options around um, just fine tuning the rules for caching. You can also control your varnish settings from within this screen. Varnish by default is enabled on all WordPress websites uh, hosted on Cloudways. Varnish is another function that lets you speed up your website even further. If you've got an existing website that you would like to move to Cloudways, there is a plugin that can help you with that. And that plugin is called Cloudways WordPress Migrator. So you can just find it amongst the general plugins that are available on the WordPress marketplace. So type in Cloudways Migrator and you will see this plugin. So click install now, activate it. After that, navigate to it in your plugins, click settings. And from here, you can follow all of these prompts and it will take you through all of the steps to move over your the information, the database and all of the pages and all of the necessary information from your old WordPress website to your Cloudways WordPress website. And just wanted to show you, these are my server settings on Cloudways. And it includes several services that really once again, all work together to speed up your website. So you've got Apache, there is a memcached application, there is uh, Nginx, which also is a service that helps speed up your website. And there is Varnish, which is another, it adds uh, optional additional layers of caching. So they all work together. You can check their status and you can also restart them if you need to at any point in time. The second thing that you should do if you want to speed up your website is to install Nitro Pack. So in your plugin installation window, type in Nitro Pack like this and hit enter and you will see Nitro Pack will probably be the first one that comes up. So it should be this one with about 100,000 active installations. Click install now and I I'm installing it on this website, greycononenko.com, which is basically this one that we're trying to improve right now. We've got a number of performance issues right now for mobile. It's telling us 56 performance score and 55 for desktop. And it's identified quite a few issues where we want to improve, which is this first contentful paint, largest contentful paint, etc. It's giving us a breakdown of all of these things that we should look at fixing. All right, so we've got this message here that Nitro Pack is activated, but it is not connected yet. So we need to go into settings and connect it. Let's click connect to Nitro Pack. After you follow the prompts, you'll see the screen that looks like this. To start with, you can go for the free plan. If your website is not very big and you don't get a lot of visitors, then the free plan is all you need. Let's click add. You see that with Nitro Pack with a free plan, you get uh, about 5000 per month page views and you get about one gigabyte of CDN bandwidth. So let's agree and add site. Here we can see the dashboard of Nitro Pack. You can see right now it's saying that it's processing two pages in the background. So Nitro Pack will just need a little bit of time, a few minutes most likely to process my website to do all the caching, do all the optimizations that it needs and it's all going to happen in the background. You will also notice that there is a uh, section here that says optimization mode and it's got a few different settings standard medium strong and ludicrous typically i would recommend to go either for strong or for ludicrous now the difference between them is that uh, the faster you want your website to be the kind of more risky uh, the approach is that the plugin will take and if you're having any issues with your website such as things not appearing correctly on the front page you just need to drop this setting to standard, to medium, to strong, or to ludicrous. Okay, so uh, I will go for strong right now. Let's see how things go with this. All right, and I've just refreshed the page. It says that right now we've got two optimized pages. And let's just rerun this page speed insights to see if we've had any change just by installing Nitro Pack. We can see now that the performance of the website has actually gone up to 97. So that's a major improvement just by uh, using those couple of settings that I've just shown you earlier. And if you want to do some further fine tuning of the settings, you can go back into your dashboard uh, within your WP admin area. And if you then scroll down to where it says manual and click that, you will be able to go click here and that will open up your account at Nitro Pack. This is actually where you can change some of the more detailed settings. 
If you then click on cache settings, and then you can choose all the different categories to do any further fine tuning. For example, under images and media, you can check whether lazy loading is enabled or not. You can also change the degree of optimization and compression for your images and videos. So if you run into any issues, you can always jump into the more detailed settings of Nitro Pack and fine tune them here. A couple of things that I really recommend to change here in the custom settings is under JavaScript. If you go to the bottom, it says delayed scripts and combine combine JavaScript. If you enable those two, this is very likely to speed up your website further. And one more thing under HTML and CSS, if you scroll down to the bottom, there is something here that says remove unused CSS. I recommend that you enable this as well to just clean up the CSS code and make your website even faster. And to really speed up your website, you do need to have a fast hosting solution. That's why I recommend Cloudways. I'll put all the details here on the screen. With Cloudways, you can actually get a free trial. So just click on the link in the description or the link that I'm gonna put on the screen. You'll land on a page similar to this and you'll find something that says start free trial. Now, if you click start free trial, you'll see a page similar to this. You can actually get a three day completely free trial. Just make sure that when you are signing up, you click this link that says got a promo code and enter my coupon promo code. It's gonna be here on the screen. If you enter that in, you're going to get a discount if you decide to continue with the Cloudways platform. As I mentioned to you guys before, you get a very quick TTFB time to first byte, which is very, very important. But there are other features that Cloudways has that I really like, which is it's all SSD hosting, which is quite standard these days, but still it's important to know that they have a lot of built-in solutions to really optimize and speed up your website, such as built-in caches. There is optimized stack with all of these um, types of things like Nginx, Apache, MySQL, MariaDB, et cetera, just all optimized to really give you really fast performance times. You can look through the rest of it, but probably my favorite thing that uh, in my personal experience has been with Cloudways is just their support. It's basically nearly instant. Anytime I've needed something, I've always just gone to chat with support and in real time over chat, they've always been able to help me. They also have migration. So if you've got an existing website and you just want help to have it migrated to Cloudways, you can very easily ask support to do that and they'll do it for you. So it makes it super easy to migrate to them. Make sure that you watch this video next and it will take you through everything step by step through the most detailed possible steps on how to speed optimize your website. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.